Getting kids to understand agriculture and all it provides to our society is the motivation behind a City Slickers event. The event itself can be tailored to your organization's capabilities. You don't have to start off by hosting 1,200 students. David Sprague of Ag for Life wants to see this program expanded throughout Alberta. This is a program that reaches 1,200 children. It does a fabulous job of teaching them where food comes from and why it's important. This is our second year in sponsoring the, uh, the City Slickers program and we're just delighted to be able to do it. It's a, it's a fabulous program. The key here is to do something to contribute to the continuance of affordable and nutritious food production in Canada. Maybe you start with grade 10 students and show them what a mixed farming operation contributes to the community. Self-employed farm families, seasonal employment for local students and farm workers, financial support of local businesses like livestock trucking and veterinary services. All of these elements contribute to Alberta's $5 billion agricultural industry. Like we often hear about the oil industry and how important it is, and absolutely is to Alberta, but agriculture is certainly important as well. It's not just the uh, primary production. Another stat that I read recently was that there's nearly 23,000 people involved in, in value-added where they process agricultural production in Alberta. So, you know, some of those things uh, I think would people would be surprised at the magnitude of agriculture. You know the difference between this and this. As you move forward with your planning, give thought as to how the students will spend their day with you. How would visiting farms and learning about agriculture fit into the curriculum being taught by their teachers? As a teacher, all field trips are valuable. This one specifically for the um, weather unit that we're doing right now in our grade 5 class because we're talking about effects of weather and we all know that farmers are greatly affected by global warming and also different weather conditions in certain areas so right now I'm teaching my kids about effects of weather such as the form of precipitation and how it affects crops as well as the animal farmers too so it's valued in different areas of study within the curriculum. I have you as a group leader there is no question that you will need volunteers to help deliver this program. Securing the help of passionate farmers is the first step. We need those farms and we need that first-hand experience so those children walk away and know it takes the farm and it takes the farmer to grow food. Farmers also play a critical role in helping to deliver key messages to the students. And I think it's important for the kids to come out and see um, the reality of farming and food production, you know, so close to them? Well, there's only 2% of the population is raising food for the other 98%. And I, you know, once they're a generation away from the farm, they really don't have any connection to the farm. So I just feel it's important that uh, they see where their food is coming from, understand what it takes to, to raise cattle or crops or whatever it is that we do. I just, I just feel it's important that, you know, we, we do it. Sometimes the open house can even be beneficial to the farmer. Uh, just how interested they actually are. Like they, they really are keen on it, you know. Like they, I think uh, a lot of people have a, a, a mystique about farming, um, you know, that it's a simple life and, uh, you know, there's, there's that mystique around it. But I think once they come and they see it, it's, it's a lot more complicated than they than they thought it was. I actually had one, one boy last year that uh, asked if he could come work for me when he was uh, growing up, and I said, absolutely, you have to come back. So, The scope of your program and your organizational structure will determine your particular need for volunteers. You really are the people who are most important to the kids that day. And, uh, and you just have such an important job and good on you for saying you'll do it. Because it is the best job. It is the best job. You know, one of our own uh, people right here in Stony Plain today, Judy Underschultz, was one of the uh, uh, leading organizers of Ag for Life. And uh, 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 together with a, a group that became our founders, they really are the heart and soul of Ag for Life. It took us about 150 volunteers, one event manager and two part-time coordinators to manage our program at the Multicultural Center. Turkey, ham, roast beef. Each team member has a main task. The event manager must know everything at all times to keep the plan in sync. 
So we couldn't do this, of course, without all of you. First of all, you know, I would like to impress upon you the magnitude. It's over a million dollars. It's over the next three years. It's in sustainable funding to help worthwhile programs become even better and worthwhile programs to be shared right across Alberta. A number of sponsors contribute to our program at the Multicultural Heritage Centre. You may begin planning your program by simply following the template manual's guide. Uh, our founders are really the who's who of, uh, of Alberta companies. When we talk about Agrium and Atco and ATB Financial, Penn West Exploration, uh, UFA, TransCanada Corp, and Rocky Mountain Equipment, these are all uh, great companies, Alberta-based companies, who are, um, uh, feel it's important to give back to the rural and the agricultural community. You will find information for your Ag for Life funding application in the City Slickers template manual. The remaining volunteers have specific roles in setup, teardown, food services, resource table management, and so on. You will need a few versatile volunteers to cover any vacant positions on the event day. Of course, the real trick is keeping the kids engaged while delivering key messages about agriculture. With the right planning and a balance of informative and interactive exhibits, your City Slicker event will have an impact on these young minds.